We've been very busy in the Fusion Lab, so we haven't had time to keep up in these videos with all the ways that the Big Bang expanding universe hypothesis has been invalidated in the year 2024. So in the next few videos, we'll try and catch up with this to clear the decks for all the new ways we'll find of invalidating it in 2025. So the first big piece of evidence that we're going to discuss is the new observations on the abundance of the element lithium. Now, the abundance of lithium is one of the core predictions of the Big Bang hypothesis because if the universe was ever extremely dense and extremely hot, fusion reactions, which occur in dense hot plasmas, would have produced a certain amount of lithium. Not very much, because most of the lithium would have been burned up in subsequent fusion reactions. But according to the Big Bang hypothesis, there should be very close to five lithium atoms for every 10 billion hydrogen atoms. Not a lot, but enough to detect. Now, it's been known for decades that there is a big problem with this prediction. We can measure spectroscopically the abundance of lithium in the outer atmospheres of stars. If we look at stars, we can tell their age approximately by the amount of iron in their atmospheres. Now, iron can only be produced in supernova explosions. So if we go to stars that have less and less iron, that means they were produced earlier and earlier in the history of the Milky Way galaxy, where there was time for fewer and fewer supernova explosions. So the problem is that when you get these observations, what you see is that the low iron stars have far too little lithium for the Big Bang predictions. It gets less and less as the amount of iron gets less and less. So it goes from approximately a quarter of the um, prediction of the Big Bang at medium levels of iron down to almost nothing, less than a 20th of the predictions of the Big Bang as you get to extremely low levels of iron parts per billion. Well, this has been known, as I say, for decades. And it's called the lithium problem, one of the many problems with the Big Bang. Since the Big Bang has been accepted by most cosmologists as indisputable, there was a lot of effort to say, well, somehow this lithium was being destroyed in the stars and was be being destroyed in exactly the right amount to produce the illusion that the less iron, the older the star, the less lithium. Well, all of these uh, fudges had major problems, and all of them were contradicted by other observations. But there was this ongoing uh, process of producing these papers. Well, in September of 2024, this problem got a lot worse, uh, insolubly worse, in fact, for the Big Bang hypothesis. In September, results from a small international collaboration of researchers from Italy, France, and the United States showed that in the interstellar medium, the gas a plasma between the stars of the small Magellanic cloud that was four times 
less lithium than in the predictions of the Big Bang. So these researchers, using the very large telescope of the European Southern Observatory, which is located in Chile, the team recorded the spectra of SK143, which is a very bright star in the SMC. The spectra contained multiple absorption lines from material in the interstellar medium of this satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, which is, by the way, visible only from the southern hemisphere of the Earth. So they found this lithium abundance from these lines was four times lower than the amount predicted to have been created by the Big Bang. But there is no known or hypothesized mechanism to reduce the amount of lithium in the ISM. Stars can only add to this amount of lithium. They can't subtract from it. There are no reactions that occur in the extremely dilute uh, gas or plasma that exists between the stars. The rate of fusion reactions is absolutely insignificant. So this completely shoots through the whole effort over all these decades to say, well, this is something where uh, lithium is diluted in the stars. This is lithium in the interstellar medium, the gas between the stars. And this has four times too little lithium. So this is an absolute contradiction to the Big Bang predictions. Now, if we take into account the error bars, there is a one in 300 chance that there's a compatibility. But one in 300 is not a good confirmation of a theory. That means there are 299 chances out of 300 that the theory is completely wrong. Now, how does this new observation stack up against the predictions of the non-expanding hypothesis. Well, the non-expanding hypothesis exactly predicted the observations in stars because there is a well-known process in the galaxy as it exists today and during its process of formation in which cosmic rays produce lithium by smashing into and smashing apart uh, nuclei of carbon and oxygen. So based on what we know of conditions early in the formation of a galaxy, where stellar formation is proceeding much more rapidly than it is today, we can calculate, and I have calculated in published papers, how much lithium should be produced. And this was a very good match for the stellar uh, observations. If we compare those predictions to the amount in the SMC, then what we find is that the amount is about 40% less than the predictions from the non-expanding universe hypothesis. Well, that's a lot better than a factor of four difference. But really, the agreement is much better than that. Because the calculations that I published based on the Milky Way galaxy assumed a galaxy that converted m most of the, of the gas in the galaxy, overwhelming majority, into stars. Now, that's not true. In the small Magellanic cloud, only about 40% of the gas has been converted into stars. And therefore, of course, only 40% of the lithium has been produced. So actually, we get a dead-on agreement between the prediction for a galaxy like the SMC 
a gas-rich galaxy and what we anticipate from the process of cosmic rays produced by stars smashing into carbon and oxygen, also produced by stars. And no Big Bang is necessary. So this is a huge contradiction that by itself would completely invalidate the existence of a hot, dense Big Bang epoch in the existence of the universe. But it isn't the only problem. In fact, we'll find there's a lot more in 2024. Now, these videos don't get produced without spending money. And they come out of research that also contributes to our quest for cheap, clean, unlimited energy from hydrogen boron fusion. So if you want to contribute to that quest, please visit us at LPP Fusion. You can invest, you can donate, do what you can. Thanks for watching, and we'll have more soon.